my hope by now is that you're feeling like you're used to the language of organic chemistry. Uh, and now we're just going to add another layer to it, a small layer. <clears throat> and probably if you are used to the language of organic chemistry, you could probably, with just a little bit of a hint, be able to uh, draw the molecular formula or molecular structure, pardon me, for ethanol or butantool. So if I tell you that alcohols follow, this is their general formula, ROH, where R is some kind of hydrocarbon, right? Uh, and then we have the OH uh, attached onto that molecule somewhere. Uh, they are not basic. So this is not sodium hydroxide. This is not a hydroxide ion, okay? Not basic, not basic. This is molecularly bonded, a covalent bond, a shared pair of electrons, not an ion. So these are not basic. Um, and when we're naming them, we're going to drop the E at the end of all the things we've been doing, like pentane with the E at the end. We're going to take off that E and we're going to add OL. And as soon as you see the OL, that tells you it's an alcohol. All right, so ethanol, that's what's in our drinking alcohol. So like wine is 12% ethanol and the remaining percent mostly water. Uh, if I am going to dissect this in organic chemistry language, F means two carbons, so one, two. AN means those are singly bonded. There you go, single bond. And the OL now tells me that it's an alcohol and that I have an OH in there. So here's my O and my H. Fill in the rest of my hydrogens. And this is ethanol now. What ethanol would look like, and you probably already knew that, right? That was something you had to memorize in like science 10 or whatever. Uh, but now you understand how its name is part of the pattern. Uh, the, the line diagram from ethanol would be a carbon, a carbon, and then an OH, like that. Uh, we often don't draw that line there just because, but it is there. Okay, so here's another one, butan 2 all. So when you're looking at butan 2 all, but means... Four, so one, two, three, four, and off of carbon two, I have my OH group. So off of carbon two, I have my OH group, and this would be butan two all as opposed to butan one all, which would have the OH off of the first carbon. Okay, so here's some examples from your uh, notebook. So here I have cyclo. Pent A N E, right? Cyclopentane is that is that uh, this thing here? Burp, 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 burp. Um, I'm supposed to drop the E and add O L for my alcohol, and you can choose to put a one in there or not. Uh, it's best practice that we don't. We don't usually put the one in, but you understand this is going to be carbon one because it's the most important thing on this um, circle. So uh, you can put the one in, but I will not, OL. And if this is carbon one, then this is carbon two. So this is going to be two methyl cyclopentanol. Okay. Right, this one's got a few more substituents on it. Substituents just means like the attached group. So in this, I have one, two, three, four, Five, the OH has to be part of my longest chain. Uh, but um, I don't know if you can see this, but because this isn't uh, a carbon here, but rather it's an oxygen, I can still go up and that becomes part of my longest parent chain. One, two, three, four, five, six in my parent chain. So I say hex for six, all single bonds. So hexane, I'm gonna drop the E and I'm gonna add my OL to tell me it's an alcohol, and that alcohol is going to be attached to carbon two because I'm going to number them one two so that my OH is on the uh, on the least, you know lowest carbon. Okay, one two. So that makes this three. That makes this four. So this is a methyl group off of carbon three, and this is a chloro group off of carbon four. Chloro comes first in the alphabet, so four. Chloral 3 methyl hexantool. Uh, here's a, a, another one 2 methyl butan 2,3 diol. 
Whenever you have a die or a tri, obviously that means I'm going to have two OHs. That's what that means, two OHs. One OH is going to be on carbon two, one OH is going to be on carbon three. The rule is that if I, as soon as I change that to a die, I keep the E on there. Uh, I think it's just a like not having two vowels to, uh, is not allowed, and that's why we dropped the E. But anyway, uh, I keep the E on if I'm putting di, tri, tetra, whatever. Okay, so butane is my one, in fact, I should make this bigger. One, two, three, four. So there's my butane, uh, all singly bonded because it's A-N-E, not E-N-E, or Y-N-E. And then I have, uh, off of carbon two, I have an O-H. Off of carbon three, I have an OH, and off of carbon two, I have a methyl. And then, because I've written this in a molecular formula, I would need to tag all my hydrogens. Hydrogen, hydrogen, no hydrogens, because it already has four bonds and two hydrogen, oh, rah, rah, three hydrogens there to make my four um, bonds to that carbon. Okay, so that's the molecular formula for butane one, two, three, diol. In terms of a structural diagram, it would look like this. One, two, three, a line diagram, I mean. One, two, three, four, that's butan. Then I have my OH off of carbon two, OH off of carbon three, and a methyl off of carbon uh, two. So it looks a little bit weirder, more weird. Weirder is no word. Uh, more weird as a line diagram. Okay, so that's alcohols.